my heart tonight. You know, they've been preaching for several years, and I have, and everybody has. It's a great falling away, and it's here today. It's here today. Everywhere you go to church, there's just a few here and a few there, and they're closing the doors here, and they're closing the doors there. If there's a bad night coming, they're, they shut the doors. But let me tell you all something. There's coming a day when God's coming back Amen. after His children. Amen. You know, I was sitting there thinking about Naboth, and I'm not going to preach. I'm going to hear Brother Wallace didn't come to preach. But sitting there thinking about Naboth when Ahab went to him, and Naboth had something he wanted. Naboth had, invented, had inherited a vineyard from his father. And Ahab wanted it. And Ahab offered him the worth of it in money or offered him another vineyard for his vineyard. And Naboth said, and I want you to get this tonight, Naboth said, my vineyard is not for sale. Listen to me today. If you've been born again, you have the Holy Ghost, it shouldn't be for sale tonight. Under no circumstance, I feel the Holy Ghost. It shouldn't be for sale under no circumstance tonight. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. And then Ahab's wife come in and she said, Ahab, he was turned to the wall. He had his face turned to the wall, sad and broken hearted because he couldn't get what he wanted. But the woman come in, and women don't get mad at me tonight. The woman come in, his wife come in and said, Ahab said, don't worry about it. Said, we'll get in all of you know the story. She signed some degrees and all got the vineyard. But listen, then, then uh, Job was going through something and his wife come to him and said, cuss your God and die. Women, please don't get mad at me. Just hold on just a minute before you get mad at me. When you preach this sometime, you'll see some of these women begin to puff up and say, I know I'm the boss. Well, I know every one of you the boss tonight. All the women's the boss. We're all henpecked. If we're not henpecked, we're liars. But listen to this. Listen to this. His wife come to him and he said, she said, cuss your God and die. He said, you sound like a foolish woman. Let me tell y'all something. Whenever, the, whenever they brought the woman that was in adultery, the scribes and Pharisees brought her down there. They had perfect rights to kill her. But God gave them a choice. Hallelujah. God gave them a choice. He said, those without sin cast the first stone. Let me tell y'all something tonight. All you say, oh, I'm ready to go. I'm doing good. But the type of the woman is the flesh tonight. And when the flesh begins to speak, hallelujah, against the spirit, praise God. Or when the flesh begins to speak, all we want to do is obey the flesh. How many knows what I'm talking about tonight? How many knows the flesh is strong tonight? The type of the woman is strong tonight. Hallelujah. We need to get rid of the flesh. We need to crucify the flesh tonight. Oh, Brother Mike, what are you talking about? We need to crucify the things of the flesh. I'm not talking about me. I'm not talking about I. But we need to get things under subjection and look for the coming of the Lord. We're not looking no more for the coming of God anymore. Hallelujah. The flesh is strong. The flesh has got a hold on us today. The woman has got a hold on us today, Brother Mitchell. Hallelujah. And the woman is a type of the flesh today. Praise God. Praise God. Cuss your God and die. Listen to me. Whenever they brought that little woman down there, praise God. I know she was scared. Praise God. She she was in fault. Praise God. But they had a they had all rights to kill her. But God said, "Those without sin cast the first stone." Tonight, I see this every day. People passing judgment on this one. People passing judgment on that one. Listen to me today. If, G, if they walked up and the scribes and Pharisees grabbed you, took you in front of the council, hallelujah, you'd be looking for the mercies of God. Listen to me, church. None of us is going to make it without the mercies of God. Everyone in here, praise God, is not going to make it without the mercies of God. You're not too good that you can go and make it today. Hallelujah. It's for the mercies of God that you're going to go to heaven. Hallelujah. It's been right for you. Hallelujah. It's Jesus. This is a Jesus thing tonight, praise God. If you're not on board tonight, hallelujah. And you're flashing not on subjection tonight. Tonight will be a good night. Turn me down a little Mickey. Tonight will be a good night to get flesh on your subjection tonight. And get on the way of God. Let's get on board and go to heaven tonight together. Hallelujah.
Hallelujah. Praise God. I feel good tonight. Breathe in my spirit. Everywhere I look, there's bad news. Everywhere I look, there's something bad. But I got a God, praise God, that was crucified over 2,000 years ago, brother, just for me and just for you. Hallelujah. I've told this several times, and I'm going to tell it again. Eight and a half years ago, when I had a heart attack, God spoke to me whenever I was going in for surgery and told me, said, I'm going to love you just the way that you love me. And I said, Lord, I was by myself. I said, Lord, please love me better than that. Please love me better than I do you. I didn't know what he was talking about. And I'm not talking about me and I tonight, and I'm not, I don't want you to get that in your mind tonight. But I want to tell you this for a purpose. Anytime, and I asked God about this. I said, Lord, why did you tell me that? But I noticed when he told me that, every bit of the fear left me. And whenever I went in for, whenever I, that happened, all the fear left me, and I went in for surgery, and I come out, and it was two preachers, Told me, said, perfect love, cast away fear. And I know I've told you all that. But listen to me. Eight, eight months later, I was going down the road, and God just appeared in my truck. I, I, can't, I can't keep from telling this tonight. It's not about just me. I'm not talking about me. I'm talking about you tonight, too. I'm talking about you tonight getting flesh under subjection. I said, Lord, why in the world did you say that you love me the way that I loved you? He said, Mike, you put up a lot of flesh just for me. Let me tell y'all something. Whenever you want to do something real bad, your flesh wants to join in something real bad. Do you know that you do you know that you flirt with the powers of Satan every day? You flirt with them, you get just as close to them as you can get without having a relationship with Satan. Did you know that today? Hallelujah. We flirt with the powers of Satan every day. Women, men, praise God, just alike. Hallelujah. You don't have a husband tonight. You have a husband man tonight. His name is Jesus. Hallelujah. Every one of you, there's some widow women in here tonight. If you need to ask your husband something, who do you ask? Praise God. You don't ask your husband. You ask your husband man, which is Jesus. Hallelujah. And all of us need to ask Jesus tonight what we need to do and which way we need to go. Praise God. I just thank God, Brother Walls, for being here. And thank you for everything he's done for me. Hallelujah, health and strength. And, you know, they was talking about the blessings a while ago. I couldn't count the blessings tonight that God's given me. I feel, I'm like Brother Wall said the other day, I believe it was Brother Wall said it, said it looks like God blesses me more than he does anybody. Well, praise God, I feel the same way. Do you feel the same way tonight? Praise God. Eat my flesh and drink my blood. I come in a volume of a book, praise God. That's Jesus tonight. Let's get him on our mind, praise God. I feel good tonight, thank you. Thank you, Lord.